Hey guys, if you ever wanted to fly your own rocket, well today I'm going to teach you how to build and fly your very own water rocket. This is going to be awesome. For this experiment you will need an empty plastic bottle, cardboard, tape, scissors, pen and a ruler, a cork, a hand pump with a needle adapter and some water. First up we're going to make some fins and a nose cone for our rocket. The fins will provide it with stability as it flies and the nose cone will improve its aerodynamics by reducing drag through the air. Use the cardboard to cut out your fins for your rocket. The cardboard needs to be pretty thick so that the fins are strong enough to hold up the rocket when it's finished. Then make a cone shaped nose out of the cardboard to fit over the bottom of the bottle. This will eventually be the top of the rocket. Finally, stick the cone and fins on using the tape. Now we're going to push this needle adapter of the pump through the cork. You might need to trim the cork a little first as the needle needs to go all the way through. If you're a younger scientist, make sure you ask an adult to help you with this bit. Next we're going to fill the rocket about one third full of water. And then you push the cork in tightly. And now it's time to test it out. To do this, make sure you're outside somewhere with plenty of space. Now make sure you and any spectators are standing well away from the rocket. Now start pumping air into the bottle. As you can see, the rocket takes off very suddenly and forcefully. So always make sure an adult is around to supervise and do not ever approach a rocket once you have started pumping, even if you think it looks like nothing is happening. I told you this is going to be a fun experiment, so how does it all work? How do we get the rocket to fly so high? Well, this experiment demonstrates how build-up and pressure can launch a rocket. You see, as you pump air through the water, the pressure inside the bottle builds up until the force of the air pushing on the water is enough to push the cork out of the end of the bottle. The water then rushes out of the bottle in one direction, whilst the bottle pushes back in the other direction. This results in the bottle pushing upwards. You might also like to experiment filling up the rocket with different amounts of water to see whether it flies higher with more or less. Some of you may have heard of Isaac Newton's third law of motion, which says with every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. And I think this couldn't be better demonstrated than with this very cool water rocket experiment. 